Hello and welcome to Megawatt, where each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. And this week it really is the lowdown on the latest kit. We've got so many launches that we thought what better way to share them with you than to cover them all in a one big roundup episode. So stay tuned. So hot off the press, LG have just announced the LG Secret, a new phone as part of its Black Label series that follows on from the Chocolate and the Shine. The new phone sports a carbon fibre design, a 2.4 inch tempered glass touchscreen display and it's a slider as well so you get a full keyboard if you're not too happy about touching. There's some interesting tech in there apart from the 5 megapixel on camera on the back and the HSDP connectivity in that they followed Apple's lead in including an accelerometer. Now what does that actually mean? Well basically you press the touch button here, we go to the mToy application, we load some games, this is a maze one for example, and using the, the phone allows us to tip the ball depending to where we want it to go. Other games include a fishing game where you have to throw your, uh, your line out and then sort of jerk it back to catch it. It's very much like Zelda with the Wii Remote. Overall, it seems like a really good handset. It's very well built, it's quite solid. Uh, it's due out in May and as a stylish phone that promises you know, good pictures in a small case, it looks like it's going to be a winner. So it seems that the rumours were true, Arcos has struck out into the GPS market. In my hands I have the 605 unit, which is already on the market, but look at the front and this is the new GPS cradle. And so basically what you do is you take your Arcos into your car, you stick it into the cradle and then suddenly you have GPS. So this is the Arcos 605 PMP with GPS cradle, which is available in May for £299. On the surface, the Flybook VM business looks like any other laptop. It's got a 12-inch screen, there's a 120 gig hard drive in there, DVD player, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all the usual functions that you can have. You turn it around and it's got a bright yellow back which might put off some people, but the interesting feature with this laptop is the ability to extend the screen out from the case. A quick pull up and a pull forward suddenly gives you a rather different looking laptop than you're probably used to. Why would you want this? Well, Flybook say that the best option would be that if you're on a plane, the guy in front puts his seat back, you can now tilt your computer right forward and hey presto, you've got an entertainment machine if the channels aren't any good. We also think it'd probably be really good for doing presentations on the fly because that is a lot more nicer than trying to sell your product that way. And that's the Flybook VM business. The Dell XPS One Red is the charity version of the company's all-in-one desktop PC. Emulating the Apple iMac, it's a computer in one piece with a wireless keyboard and wireless mouse that, to be honest, doesn't really look that much. What you get? Well, there's 500 gig, you get an Intel Core 2 Duo processor, and there's an ATI Radeon card, which means that you should be able to play games, although don't expect to play anything too high spec. Controls are offered via some haptic controls down here. You get a little slot drive on this side, and you also get a little trackpad and lit, lit up keys here on the keyboard as well, if you want to ditch this mouse altogether. 500 gig hard drive, around about 1,200 pounds, Available now, and that's the Dell XPS 1 red version. So what do you think of my new handbag? Fetching, isn't it? Nice little hearts, leather cover, etc. It's not too bad either, it's £6,000. And the reason for that is hidden in its deepest, darkest secrets. It's not a compartment for your mobile phone. It is, in fact, a fully-fledged laptop. The Eco Signature, available from Selfridges only in the UK, comes with a 12-inch screen as a hard drive. It's basically a computer on the go in a funky design. A funky design enough that if the pink isn't for you, and I'm afraid it's not for me personally, you can get a wicked cow skin. Feel that, that's lovely. Uh, flavor as well. And again, the covers are interchangeable, so you can get Diamond Eek. There's lots of different variants. And that's the Ego Signature. 
the Sony Vio VGX TP. 2SB, a bit of a mouthful we know, is Sony's attempt at a home PC ideal for your living room. What you get is a wireless keyboard, like so, for tapping away remotely on your sofa, a remote control which works Windows Vista, and then this little box here, which is your PC. Now, connections which are all loaded at the front are hidden behind this nice little swish, and it also comes with a Blu-ray drive as well, giving you full 1080p support. The main focus for this player is that it runs Vista Premium, so you get full uh, media center control functionality, and that allows you to watch TVs, scan your music, and do pretty much everything that standard Vista does. Available later in the year, should cost you around 900 pounds. This is Nokia's new Express Music 5320 handset, which should be out sometime in Q3. It's a middle of the road music phone going up against the Walkmans and the Apple iPhones of this world. What do you get? Well, it's HSDPA for a start, so you can download music from their Come With Music store. Uh, so you can get music on the go. You've got dedicated Express Music buttons. There's eight meg of store, eight gig of storage, sorry, on board, and as a two megapixel camera as well. Most interestingly, however, about the phone is that you get this Express Music button, which, if I press, should allow me just to say the name of the artist I want to hear, and then it will start playing. So let's have a quick go. Hadaway. There we go. It seems to work. We'll try another one. Awful song. Gonna go again, so you press, press the button, wait a couple of seconds, Pussycat Dolls. Right, now that time it hasn't found it, so let's try again. Pussycat Dolls. Now on the whole it seems to work quite well, although we would say that it might make you feel like you're on one of those cinema answering phone messages where it says, what film would you like to see? You say The Bourne Identity and it says Pride and Prejudice and that's the Nokia 5320 Express Music handset. So it looks like whatever gadget you're into, there's going to be something new and shiny for you to play with later in the year. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Why don't you tune in next time for more news, reviews, tips, tricks, and much more from the wonderful world of technology and gadgets. My name's Stuart Miles. This is Megawatt TV. Thanks for watching.